It's all happening in Dallas, Texas, here at American Airlines Center. The Timberwolves taking on the Mavericks. For the Minnesota Timberwolves, the goal is to get better each and every time they take the floor, continuing to build their chemistry and connection. The unspoken bond that yields victory. Mavs, Timberwolves. Don't leave your seat. We'll be right back. Put me on top, city on lock, and I... Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting and checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. The front court is McDaniels and Towns. Conley is the point. Edwards plays on the wing. And it's Gobert in at the five spot. And for Dallas, the star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Derek Jones is out there with P.J. Washington. And it's Gafford in at the five. Roman the paint. Now we're taking a look at this matchup here in front of us tonight, Greg. Two teams that play very different style. And, Kevin, that's true. It's going to be offense versus defense. And I'm interested to see which style wins out, as well as what adjustments each team makes during the game. Got Mike. Outside, Edwards. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. Well, if you find yourself in between in that mid-range area, Anthony Edwards so confident. Rise and fire, young sir. Here's Irving. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. Towns a screen on Doncic from 12 feet out. Conley's shot is off. And it's Jones with the ball for the Mavericks. Over in the corner, Doncic. The kick out to Irving. A nice shot by Doncic. Let's remember Lucas 6'7, 230. So this guy lethal around the hoop. Conley against Doncic. down low lets the three fly drills it from outside the defense must chase Carl Anthony Towns off that three point line this guy is such a great jump shooter on just outside on its way from Irving for two Rudy Gobert with the rebound that's a shot he makes with regularity but that time the defense up to the challenge it's Edwards on the wing. Count it. Well, we know this about Anthony Edwards. This guy, one of the stronger guards in this game. That's a tough finish. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Outside Irving. On the wing, Doncic. Covered by Conley. Gafford sets the pick for Doncic. Nobody near Irving. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. That is pure from Kyrie. Fantastic working off the catch. The Timberwolves have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Greg, what a remarkable run from the Dallas Mavericks in that 2010-11 NBA season. And some say it's the toughest title any team has ever won. When you consider the juggernauts they took out, including the big three of the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. After two consecutive first-round exits, Greg, 
the Timberwolves are looking to take that next step. And with Anthony Edwards at the helm, I think they will soon. But you have to remember, he is only 22 years old. And when your star is that young, you typically have to endure some growing pains before breaking through. Doris, when we look at the Dallas Mavericks, it looks like a team that has shown they want to win now. Kevin, I think their ownership has never been afraid to pull the trigger on a big trade. The Mavs are not about just making it to the playoffs. This is an organization that seeks the ultimate prize, and that is to win an NBA championship. And it's Conley with the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Pass to McDaniels. Back to Conley. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Well, inside, Mike Conley has got to be savvy, and he is in that instance. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Conley against Doncic. And the pass to Gafford. Gafford is screen on Edwards. Here's Irving. And Gafford throws it down. When Kyrie Irving comes off that pick and roll, he has so much attention on him due to his speed that it results in a lot of easy shots for the guys around him. Conley against Doncic. Outside Edwards. The tray. And again, Minnesota with the triple. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. On the wing, Doncic, covered by Conley. The jump hook, and Doncic finishes inside. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. So it's the Timberwolves now. Conley feeling it out. And what? That one goes careening off the glass. And they're running. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. And that comes off the assist by Jones. And normally near the top, handling the ball. Luca sneaking out to the corner there, getting free for three. Now Conley, he has five. Near the three-point line, it's Edwards, and Jones pulls it down. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. On the wing, Irving. Pocket six. Makes it off the glass. Irving's got seven points in the game. Tremendous focus from Kyrie. A little bit of contact, not going to alter his shot. Timberwolves trail by three. Outside Edwards. Towns sets the pick for Edwards. Over Irving. No good off the back of the rim. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Jones finds Doncic. Here's Gaffer. And on the way from Irving for three, another three for Dallas. Well, we know Kyrie is one of the outstanding shot takers and makers in this league. Time out, time out. Call first of the game for Minnesota. And usually one of the league leaders in field goal percentage, Doris, Daniel Gaffer. What a solid contributor. Kevin, you love those role players who play within themselves, and that's exactly what Gafford gives you, an understanding of what his team needs. Rim running, rim protection, and rebounding.
Towns, the pass to Edwards. Gobert, and finished off by Gobert. And dropping the sledgehammer there, he curbs a 10-0 run by the Mavs. Mavericks leading by four. That's the Washington. Washington with this screen on cup. Back to Washington. Yep, that one goes. Yeah, the court awareness that Luca plays with knows exactly when and where to deliver the pass. Outside Towns. And a miss there on the triple. Dallas has gone three or three from deep. Nine points run up from outside here in the first. And here is Doncic. He's got seven. Irving kicks to Doncic. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. And that's now nine points for Luka Doncic. You see Kyrie never hesitates. As soon as he sees that open man, boy, it is on time. Timberwolves trail by eight. Outside Conley. Passes to Edwards. The three. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Chalk up two there. Irving's got 12. What a masterful performance from Kyrie Irving. He's over a decade into his career. He can still take over a game. Pass to Towns. Conley against Doncic. Seven-foot shot. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got his fourth rebound in this one. Doncic against Conley. Now, here's Washington. Six on the shot clock. Irving for three. That's no basket. His third miss in eight tries. Timberwolves trail by seven. Outside Edwards. There's the pass to Towns. And the shot goes down. Five points in the game. Well, just tremendous persistence from Carl Anthony Towns. Even under duress, the ability to stay focused. Dallas with the ball. They're on a 16-7 run. And on the way from Irving for three. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Conley left side. Shoots over Doncic. And the rejection by Gafford. Towns, no luck. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. They're leading by eight. Jones, the pass to Doncic. Back to Jones. Six to shoot. Out to Doncic. This one for three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got four rebounds in this game. Now, here's McDaniel, defended by Jones. Outside, Edwards. No one near him. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Well, you simply have to shake that one off, right? You can't let that kind of missed opportunity bother you. Outside, Irving. Back to Doncic. Over Edwards. Gobert with the block. One of the best to do it. Gobert adds another block to that career total. Doncic, no good. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Did give him an inch of room. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. On the wing, Doncic. from Irving for three. They grab their own miss. And Gafford throws it down. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. 
no doubt on the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. Washington against Towns. Shoots over Washington. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Well, battling hard. That's an impressive move by Towns. He'll go to the strike. For Minnesota, they have shot just one free throw early, one for one in the game. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. Here's what Minnesota's going with right now. Nas Reed, he's checked in for Gobert. Kyle Anderson comes in for McDaniels. And Morris subbed in for Mike Conley. Free throw drops for Towns. And it didn't take long for Anthony Edwards to cement himself, Greg, as Minnesota's franchise player. He is one of the best young players in the league with clear superstar potential. The future of the Timberwolves starts with Edwards. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Mavericks. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. And the free throw, no good. And Doris, you were saying this about Kyle Anderson. He can give you a little bit of everything. Kevin, he's one of those guys who'll provide shooting, defense, passing, playmaking, you name it. Sort of that jack of all trades at the forward spot. This guy has always found minutes because his understanding of the game is elite. Morris passes to Reed. Outside Irving. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And part of the show tonight, Doris, Kyrie Irving's phenomenal handle. Hey, Kevin, if you ask any NBA player who their favorite to watch is, many will come up with the name Kyrie Irving. It's the ability to have that elite handle, the footwork, the creativity, the ability to shoot a jumper, the pull-up, the lay-in. This guy is absolutely amazing. And the first one at the line is good. One thing that stands out about Kyrie Irving, obviously, his creativity, especially when it comes to his handle, as good as it gets. So he gets them both. Well, here we are talking about Timberwolf greats. One player standing out to me, and Doris, I know to you. It's Kevin Garnett. I don't think there is any debate that KG is number one. He is Minnesota's all-time leader in points, assists, rebounds, steals, and blocks. And my goodness, what a career. Ah, so much fun in the doors to watch. Anthony Edwards on the floor. This kid is electric. Kevin, this guy is part of the next generation of great players. When you look at the rising stars in this league, he's got to be near the top of that list. Unbelievable offensively three-level scorer and a guy who will get down and dirty on the defensive end. The first free throw is good. Anthony Edwards is one of the most explosive athletes in the league. He can burn you with his perimeter jump shooting. He's dangerous in transition. And look out, folks. The upside is there. Green, he's checked in for Irvin. He's perfect from the line this time. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Hard away against Edwards. Green taking his time here. Down low. Lively's shot is off. Timberwolves trail by seven. And there's the feed to Edwards. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Edwards got 14 points for the game. Yeah, my
Monte Morris instinct is pass first, on time and on target. Edwards against Hardaway. Shot clock at six. Pass to Doncic. Dallas needs to get off a shot from deep. Green, no good on the shot. What a performance for Kyrie Irving. He has been the story for the Dallas Mavericks. They kept going to him again and again, and he delivered with a monster quarter. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Mavericks? Well, you come in thinking they're going to settle for perimeter jump shots. Think again. Well, they've certainly made the commitment to pounding the basketball into the painted area, and boy, is it paying dividends. Mavericks leading by five. On the court for the Timberwolves as our second quarter is underway. Reed is out there with Anderson. Then there's Edwards. Then there's Monte Morris. And it's Alexander Walker in at the small forward. And it's Green missing. Pressured that shot by getting a hand up just as good as a block. And he did it without fouling. And that's become an art, changing shots without making contact. Edwards against Irving. Over Edwards. And that one's good, Irving. Irving's got 19 points. That is Kyrie Irving in a nutshell. You want to give him the mid-range, he'll take it. The consummate three-level scorer. And here's Anderson from the arc. It's rebounded by Dallas. Outside Irving. Passes it to Hardaway. Back to Irving, three-pointer, good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring, and Tim Hardaway says, you know what, my teammate's open, I'm going to get him the ball. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. Morris against Irving. Edwards inside, he's got 14. Here's Reed. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And it's Irving with the ball for the Mavericks. Eight point game. Inside. Here's Lively. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. And the NBA looking to reduce the amount of carrying recently. Seems like GA ball handlers had to adjust. You know, guards can get away with a lot these days, and it's hard for players and refs to make that adjustment. Ultimately, things need to be kept in check. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. Good on the second free throw. Here's Morris. Scoreless thus far. Pass to Reed. Back to Morris. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. You love the aggressive play inside from Monte Morris. 
Here's Irving. Seven point differential. Second quarter to play with around two minutes gone so far. From past the arc, he makes his ninth shot of the game. He has only missed four. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. Edwards against Hardaway. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. How about the body control from Anthony Edwards? Just so good at using that frame to get through the teeth of the defense. The Timberwolves shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. For those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. We all know Luka Doncic is a master of one-on-one -on -one isolation scoring. Coach Jason Kidd said he knows how to use his body angles. Sometimes as a coach, you want to run all these plays, but at the end of the day, it's about getting him the ball with enough time to be creative. Kevin? That's right, David. Letting him cook. Thanks for the report. Minnesota with the ball. They trail by seven. There's a screen. Out to the wing. Here's Alexander Walker. Sinks the three-pointer. Alexander Walker's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Irving with it. He's got 25. Kleba sets the screen for Irving. Great open look there. Irving's got 10 points now just in this quarter. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Boy, the consistency he's had tonight has been impressive, really steady from the field. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Outside Hardaway. The pass to Kleba. On the wing, Irving. Six to shoot. Here's Lively. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And it's sent back by Irving. Whoa, big time block from Kyrie Irving. Guys love seeing him hustle on that end. Pass to Green. Outside Irving. There's the triple. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. And now an eight-point Maverick lead. Here's Morris, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Boy, you see the time Morris has put in to strengthen that frame. Good finish there. Greg, taking a look at Monte Morris for a second, you've got to be inspired by his terrific story. I mean, from late second-round pick to a seasoned NBA player, Morris never gave up on himself and continues to impress with each passing season. And the Mavericks making a change here. Washington's checked in. Monte Morris was a late second round selection back in 2017. But boy, hard work and perseverance has paid off for this guy. Hard away against Morris. Washington with a screen on Edwards. Here's Green. A shot by Washington, and he's wide open. 
Open jump shot off the mark. Timberwolves trail by five. Outside Conley. Here's Reed. It's rebounded by Dallas. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Count that bucket. And the Mavericks lead by seven. Well, I'll tell you, Tim Hardaway Jr. has shown he's not just a perimeter scorer. This guy can get it done on the inside. For Minnesota, they've gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. Irving against Cump. Another miss by Minnesota. Dallas has gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Irving, good. If you get caught watching the ball against Kyrie, he's going to go right by you every time. Conley against Irving. Oh, the lob to Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. Uh, just great recognition from the athletic big man. Gobert finish off the nice pass. Here's Irving. 32 points in the game. Passes it to Lively. Offline with his three. And it's Conley with the ball for the Timberwolves. Seven point differential. Pass to Reed. Fires for three. Rebounded by Hardaway. Where you see him miss such an open look. Here's Irving. An easy two points on the layup. 34 points for Kyrie Irving. Well, solid work from Kyrie right there. This guy never fears going against bigger players. His shot making too good. Timberwolves trail by nine. Now Conley. He has five. Here's Edwards. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got his fourth assist in this one. Dallas has gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Green with a screen on cut. Irving with it. Picked up by Edwards. And that one's good, Irving. You guys know it's pick your poison when you are trying to cover Kyrie out of the pick and roll. And here is Conley. Here's Reed. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Reed's got five points in the quarter. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. Mavericks leading by six. The pass to Washington. Feeds to Hardaway. Over Morris. It's Hardaway that time on the assist by Irving. Irving's got three assists in the game. Well, I like the battle right there by Hardaway Jr., showing he's committed to scoring on the defense. And the Timberwolves call time. Some changes. Carl Anthony Towns checked in for Reed. McDaniels comes in for Edwards. And Nikhil Alexander Walker in for Monte Morris.
Timberwolves trail by eight. Towns a screen on Doncic. Conley kicks to McDaniels. Towns up top. He's covered by Washington. Cranes the three-pointer. Conley's got eight points. Boy, you've got to love when Mike Conley shoots it with confidence, goes to the catch-and-shoot game. All right, Mike. Doncic dishes to Irving. Pocket six. Shoots the three. Hits the three-point bomb. Irving's got 39. Well, there is a, a special nature to Kyrie Irving's ability to answer back with the three. Doncic against Conley. Now, here's McDaniels. Not a lot of room. Back to Conley. Shoots over Doncic. And with that, the Maverick lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Mike Conley. Uh, the concentration required under duress of the contest. Mike Conley, easy work. Irving for three. Gafford finds Doncic. Ah, uh, Doncic very comfortable down low. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Timberwolves trail by eight. Outside town. Pass to Alexander Walker. Back to Towns. Towns is double. Wide open. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got nine rebounds now tonight. Here's Irving. Rebound Minnesota. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Outside Towns. Has to go bare. Conley against Doncic. Pass to Towns. And Jones pulls it down. Jones has got four rebounds in this game. Dishes it to Irving. 16 feet away. Can't hit that one. Normally he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. To the inside. Here's Towns. To the right side. Gobert with a screen on Irving. Here's Alexander Walker. Out left of the wing. Fires the three. The shot by McDaniels. No good. Mavericks leading by eight. Over in the corner, Doncic. Towns with the steal. Now here's McDaniel, covered by Gafford. McDaniels passes to Gobert. Six on the shot clock, and there's the pass to Alexander Walker. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Alexander Walker's got six here in this quarter. How about Gobert with the find on time and on target? Nicely done, Rudy. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for the Mavericks. They've led by as much as 10. Doncic kicks to Irving. Here the step back. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got his fourth assist in this one. Here's Alexander Walker, covered by Irving. There's 37 seconds left now here in the second. Pocket six. Let's it go from deep. And with that, the Maverick lead is cut down to just four points for the bucket from Alexander Walker. He is in a zone right now. Every three he puts up seems to be going down. Pass to Washington. Irving looking over the floor. Washington sets the pick for Irving. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Passes it to Towns. Here's Alexander Walker. And it is good at the buzzer. Wow. And a huge 
huge three there to chop the lead down as we go into the break. Still anyone's game. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Mavericks lead by one. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, PJ. Hot start offensively. How do you continue that in the second half? I think we did a great job of attacking the rim and kicking out to our teammates and making open shots. So uh, we got back away from that in the second quarter, but we got to do a better job of that coming out of halftime. Stick with what works, right? Thanks for your time, man. Back to you. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He has been everywhere. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Daniel Gafford is out there with P.J. Washington, and it's Jones in at the three spot. That's the five to begin the second half for Jason Kidd. Important points there. Got him on a nice play, getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Timberwolves trail by three. Outside Conley. Pass to Edwards. For the tie. A rebound by Washington. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. On Jinch passes to Irving. From outside the arc. And it's Dunchich. That time on the assist by Irving. And now a six-point Dallas lead. Fearless, as always. Doncic loves to fill it up from deep. Credit where credit is due. P.J. Washington is one hard-working guy on the floor. Isn't he, Greg? He's got that grittiness to him, Kevin. Values every chance he gets to affect the game. And like you said, he puts a ton of effort into his play. Maverick shooting an offensive execution has been beyond great there. 63% from the floor in this game. Back to Doncic. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Edwards finds Conley. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Towns against Washington. And the dunk by Towns. Oh, Mr. Towns can hurt you from anywhere, and that includes putting it on your head. Mavericks have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Here's Irving. And that one, good. Irving's got 43 points. Well, get it inside to a quality scorer and let this guy do his thing. Timberwolves trail by four. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Edwards inside, covered by Irving. Offensive rebound. Edwards, that's good. Well, uh, you see the kind of power that Anthony Edwards can play with. This guy, the board, the finish, yes, sir. The pass to Washington. 
Edwards against Irving. Washington sets the pick for Irving. Fires from deep. Connects from three-point range. Irving's got 46 points. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. Has to Edwards from downtown. Goes back up, and Gobert with the lay-in. Gobert's got six points. When it comes to offensive rebounding, one of the best in the business, Rudy Gobert. Doncic finds Irving. On the wing, Doncic. Covered by Conley. Irving attacking, uses the glass to finish the layup. Irving's got 48. Kyrie Irving has such a tight handle that regardless of what's in front of him, he will get past you and get to the cup. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for Minnesota, trailing by five. Pass to Edwards. Over Irving. And again, it's Minnesota. And that trip played out perfectly for them. Mavericks have gone 5 of 6 so far from the field in the second half. Tremendous efficiency. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks very much. Now, the Mavericks' all-time great Dirk Nowitzki this summer was enshrined in the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame and received a huge statue outside the Mavericks arena. The iconic one-legged fadeaway immortalized in bronze. Inscribed on the base, Loyalty never fades away. 21 letters, one for each of his 21 seasons playing in Dallas. Kevin? Isn't that something? Great stuff, DA. Thank you. Conley against Doncic. Pounds down low. Timberwolves passing it around. McDaniels. Out to Conley. It's up a three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Gafford's got 10 rebounds here tonight. He's so active. Jones in the post. Working on McDaniels. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And when it comes to Luka Doncic, he's simply, Greg, one of the best players in the entire game. No question about it. He's a threat to record a triple-double every time he takes the floor as versatile and dangerous a player as there is in our league. And the first one drops. You often hear the phrase franchise player. When you think about Luka Doncic and the amount he controls the action, the MVP level play, he is the true definition of it. He hits one and misses one each at the line. For Rudy Gobert, he is one of four players' doors to win Defensive Player of the Year three times. And you think back, Kevin, he was a late first-round pick in 2013, probably has exceeded all expectations. He has obviously cemented himself as one of the all-time defenders in NBA history. Mavericks leading by four. Outside Irving. Back to Doncic. For this screen on cut. There's the lob to the hoop. And Gafford throws it down. And that's a double-double for him now. Ten points and ten rebounds. Well, Luka Doncic has an innate sense for when his teammates are open. And boy, does he deliver it. Conley against Doncic. Gobert with a screen on Irving. Edwards passes to Gobert. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Anderson, he's checked in for Minnesota. 
One shot. A free throw drops for Gobert. What you love about Rudy Gobert is he understands his strengths and where he can impact the game. That is primarily on the defensive end, but also as a screen setter offensively. And so the ball out of bounds. Gobert touched it last. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. On the wing, Irving. Edwards defending. And another one! My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. Timberwolves trail by five. Conley dishes to Edwards. Edwards drawing the double team. Left side, Anderson. Pass to Towns. Six to shoot. And the foul called on P.J. Washington. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second team foul. On defense, Dallas. Towns kicks to Conley. For three, Edwards. A terrific job from Irving to track his man the entire Two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Yeah, good job to take it right at the knee. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. They've been playing some really physical offense, just attacking the paint as much as possible. And I tell you what, they have been very successful with that strategy. And the other thing, guys, that they've been very effective at is shooting the long-range jumpers. The defense has been having trouble closing out to them in this game in particular. That free throw, no good. misses. Dallas leading by five. Washington passes to Doncic. Now the pass to Gaffer. Irving double team. Here's Washington. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Washington's got his second basket. You know, we call that great recognition of the situation. He knew where the double team on him was coming from. A teammate was open somewhere, and he found it. Timberwolves trail by seven. To the middle. It's tipped. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Active hands from him as he's able to deflect that pass out of bounds. Well, that's what you call a game of inches. They talk about it in football. We see it right there. Outside, Towns. And here's Conley outside. Well, this is the energy you want to see from Luka on the defensive end on every possession. Up in his man's grill, affecting the shot. That is nice. Pass to Gaffer. Conley against Dungeon. Shot clock at five. Shoots it up. And it's Dallas with another. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Now I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Anderson outside. Towns sets the pick for Anderson. Back to Edwards. Pulls it up. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Mavericks leading by nine. Washington passes to Doncic. Outside Irving. Doncic. 
Doncic against Conley. From deep, Doncic knocks in the three. This guy is an absolute machine. Luka Doncic keeping his foot on the gas and giving the defense everything they can handle. Conley the pass to Gobert. Towns down low. He's covered by Washington. And Towns the bucket on the assist by Gobert. Boy, doesn't get any easier than that. What a size advantage and just goes to work. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for Dallas. Fires from 14, connects again. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Minnesota calls timeout. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Check in for Minnesota. Towns the pass to Edwards. And Anderson kicks to Edwards. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Passes it to Reed. Shot clock at six. Anderson dishes to Towns. Sinks the triple. Towns has got 15 points. What a feed to Towns. This guy ready to rise and fire on the catch. Conley against Doncic. Jones sets the pick for Hardaway. To the paint. And Jones slams it in. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second half run. And I think it's been all about their offensive efficiency. Shooting the lights out in this quarter. Timberwolves trail by 11. Outside Conley, pass to Edwards. Got a piece of it. Now here is Hardaway. He kicks it to Jones. Irving passes to Jones. Hardaway with a wide open look. Off target from outside. Minnesota shooting it well here in the third, about 50%. Conley with it. He's got 10. Reed finds Conley. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Here's Dallas. They're on a 13 to 5 run here. And it's slammed in by Jones. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley oop. We've got 148 left in the third. Conley against Doncic. Baseline J on the way. Conley's shot is off. Dallas leading by 13. Now Doncic, 20 points for him. There's the pass to Lively. Irving attacking. Basket good. Irving's got 13 points in the second half. Guys, hard to guard that floater with Irving when he makes it at the speed with which he does. Here is Edwards. 28 points for him. Outside Conley. Anderson outside. 59 seconds left in the third. Against Edwards from deep three point territory. 
And Lively pulls it down. Dallas has gone three or five with the long ball since entering the second half. Doncic against Cunt. Doncic passes to Lively. And here is Hardaway over Anderson. Hardaway, no good. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. Here's Edwards. Buries it from about 10 feet away. Edwards got eight points in the quarter. Anthony Edwards has got his rhythm, and he's got a well-rounded offensive game. Look out. Doncic kicks to Hardaway. Here's Lively. Good, and the assist goes to Hardaway. Lively's got seven points. Well, Tim Hardaway Jr., a better playmaker than maybe people think. This guy very good at breaking the defense down. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Mavericks ahead as they end the third quarter with an energy burst, a 19-7 run. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. In a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Dan, he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, this is why great point guard play is so critical in today's NBA. And you see it right there on display. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And Morris has got the ball here for Minnesota. 15-point game on the court for Minnesota. They've got Morris. Kyle Anderson is out there with Nas Reed. Then there's Edwards. And it's Alexander Walker in at the three. The small forward. Reed gets the bucket. Roll it, roll it. Mavericks leading by 13. Hardaway is screen on Morris. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Well, a point guard's responsibility in part in today's NBA, get their guys going. And Kyrie Irving doing just that. Minnesota shooting really well. 54% from the floor. Morris kicks to Reed. He dishes it to Edwards. Edwards drawing the double team. Reed misses. The Mavericks shooting it as well as you're going to see, 67%. Hardaway dishes to Irving. There's a screen by Washington. Here's Hardaway. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Kyle Anderson. It's proving very difficult to guard Tim Hardaway Jr. without fouling the guy, especially when he's this aggressive. He makes the first. Now, Tim Hardaway Jr. to me is a terrific all-around player, right? He can score it. He can pass it. He'll rebound the position. There's a lot to like about his game. Minnesota making a switch here. McLaughlin's checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Edwards looking it over. Pass to Alexander Walker. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. And it's Anderson that time on the assist from Edwards. Edwards got his eighth assist in the game. And here are the Mavericks now. Outside Irving to the wing on the left. 
outside green. Edwards against Hardaway. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot's good. Hardaway has got four points in the quarter. Timberwolves trail by 17. For three, Edwards cans it from downtown. Well, in pick and roll action, Anthony Edwards is thinking score first. Good decision right there. Outside Irving. Washington passes to Lively. Now here's Irving. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Irving's got 57 points. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Edwards against Hardaway. Now, here's Reed. Defense right on him. Back to Edwards. Here's Alexander Walker. Misses the three. Mavericks leading by 17. Hardaway passes to Lively, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. And, and ever since halftime, they played precision basketball offensively. i got to believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. Outside, Edwards. Edwards drawing the double team. Three buries the long-range jumper. Well, Anthony Edwards plays with joy, and you love to see him get his teammates involved. Pretty pass. And the Mavericks making a change here. Jones has checked in. Mike Conley's checked in for the Timberwolves. One shot. Dallas. They've gone a perfect 4-4 four four to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Irving for three. Rebound by Alexander Walker. Timberwolves trail by 15. Kicks to Edwards. To the middle. Right block shot. The shot's good from Alexander Walker. This is something Edwards is getting better and better at, facilitating for his guys. Passes to Lively. Now here is Hardaway. Tight defense on him. It's good on the putback. And the Mavericks lead by 15. How about the anticipation and the timing there? He is all over it. Conley dishes to Edwards. Edwards drawing the double team. Pass to Alexander Walker. Six to shoot. And here's Anderson from the arc. It's rebounded by Dallas. Ivory's got his fourth rebound in this one. Hardaway for three. Hangs on the trifecta. Well, we know that Tim Hardaway Jr. can space the floor. You don't want to allow him to start cooking. Minnesota calls timeout. Timeout call for Minnesota. Gafford's checked in for Dallas. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Warren's checked in. And Minnesota has possession. They trail by 18. Edwards against Hardaway. Edwards, that's good. Edwards got 35. 
Uh, taking the contact in the NBA, such a critical skill. Anthony Edwards, the frame and the game. Conley against Irving, fires the three. Reed with the rebound. Reed's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Edwards drawing the double team. Outside Warren. And the three off target. Mavericks leading by 16. The pass to Jones. And here is Washington. He's covered by Anderson. Hardaway for three. Minnesota with the rebound. Anderson passes to come. Back to Anderson. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Here's Warren, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. You can see that T.J. Warren has no problem playing through contact or around multiple bodies. How about the power? After missing nearly two full years due to injury, Greg, isn't it great to see T.J. Warren back out on the floor, healthy and hearty? Yeah, and, and Kevin, people forget this guy was the leading scorer for a playoff team before those injuries. He may not be the What's same up? player, but he can still provide some instant offense. You know, one of my favorite things about T.J. Warren is how much he believes in his ability to score the basketball. He doesn't back down from anyone. Doncic looking it over. Kicks it out to Jones. Irving double team. Down low, Towns with the steal. Conley the pass to Edwards. Over Irving. Another miss by Minnesota. Dallas leading by 13. From deep three-point land. Mike Conley grabs the miss. And so Conley will bring the ball up for the Timberwolves. Outside, Edwards. Gobert can't hit. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. He loved the touch from Rudy Gobert. He's put a ton of work into his offensive game. And here's Doncic from the arc. Knocks down the three ball. Doncic has got 12 points in just the second half. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Conley against Doncic. Here's Towns. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got assist number eight here in this one already. Now here's Gafford. The dish to Doncic. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Well, the hoop and the harm. Luka Doncic, the finish, and he'll get an opportunity to add to that. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Dallas. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for Jones. Minnesota also with the sub. McDaniels, he's checked in for T.J. Warren. The line for Dallas. Luka Doncic. One shot. Trail by 15. Outside Edwards. Over Irving. Here's Gobert. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. Gobert has a thin frame, but make no mistake, he is physical and he relishes contact. Here's Doncic, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Doncic has got 28 points for the game. Haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. Basket counts. That's 12 points for Conley. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. And the Mavericks call time here.
short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, Jason Kidd going over the plan with his team for the last few minutes. Now he wants his team to stop playing it safe. He said, we've got this lead by doing what we do, and we can keep it if we don't get too cautious. Play our game. Kevin? Thanks, David. And the Mavericks with possession here. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Edwards against Irving. Hardaway for three. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Hardaway has got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for Dallas. Timberwolves trail by 16. Conley with it. Inside. Hodges with the steal. On the wing, Hardaway. Doncic outside. And they double up Doncic. And on the way from Irving for three. Another three for Dallas. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Has to go big. Now, Doncic. To the inside. The shot's good from Gafford. And the Mavericks lead by 21. Boy, there is an artistry and a feel to Luka Doncic's game. This guy is elite with his playmaking. Gobert against Gafford. And here is Conley. Just five to shoot. They get the rebound. And the shot goes in from Rudy Gobert. Gobert's got six here in this quarter. Wow, how about the offensive performance by Rudy Gobert? This guy feels good right now. Mavericks leading by 19. Here's Irving. Now here's Hardaway. On the wing, Doncic. A fader. Another three for Dallas. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. Swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. Conley, nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. That's a great feed by Cat. Those assist numbers have improved big time over the years. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Third free throw foul. Third team foul. At the line for Dallas. Maxi Weaver. Two shots. And that one falls for Kleba. A different look for Dallas. Green, he's checked in for Irving. And it's Hardy in for Doncic. He hits both from the strike. There's 126 left here in the fourth quarter. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Dallas. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic 
was put on display here today. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Kyrie Irving. No doubt he came to play tonight. This guy has been aggressive and effective. Down low. Passes it to Hardy. Six on the shot clock. Kleba against Anderson. Kleba, no good. Minnesota with the ball. 19-point game. A nice shot by Anderson. You can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. No doubt. It felt like they were a little tight for much of the evening. Now they're in a better flow, but it may be too little too late. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Gafford sets the pick for Hardaway. And that one's on target from the wing. And the Mavericks lead by 19. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. Well, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Just a matter of time here. Here's Alexander Walker. The kick out to Anderson. Reed with it. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And, you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps, and the execution was flawless. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony.